well. Watch what you are doing. And that's what you're going to say to Jesus. I'm asking the Christians. Hello. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Performance. Today I'm here with a guest. I see Amma. My name is Casey Amma. And we'll be reacting to Amadida answering a question. If Jesus didn't die, then what happened? Wow. This indeed, I believe, is going to be very interesting. So let's start with the video. Go. Thank you, my sister. Please. I thank you that I have the privilege to be here tonight to listen to you. I haven't read the Quran. You stimulated me. Perhaps I should read the Quran. But I would like to know what you believe with the ascension of Jesus. Do you believe that he actually lived? So then what happened to Jesus if he lived? If he did not die, if he lived? No. The Quranic ayah, the verse that I read to you, the last expression I said was Bal Rafahullahu ilayh But Allah took him up to himself We Muslims believe that God Almighty took him up Saved him from that ignoble death and nakedness of the cross Because the people on the cross were absolutely naked They didn't respect you to put a little loincloth around the man The messenger of God You say the son of God Naked and bare before the world You know flies buzzing around him no, no, no. God Almighty didn't allow that to happen to his servant his messenger, Jesus, God saved him and took him up. And I say, he's coming back to just you. Wow. He is coming back. To do what? You know, we Muslims, we believe and we claim that Islam is the culmination, the fulfillment of all of God's revelation to man. All true guidance, all guidance is given to us. We don't have to learn anything new from Jesus or Moses or Muhammad anymore. Whatever God wanted to give, He's given it to us. So what is Jesus come and do? I says, no, He's coming along to rectify you. And He's telling you in the Gospel of St. Matthew, He says, many will say to me on that day, in His second coming, on His return, and many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in thy name, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name do many mighty works? They're going to ask Jesus, didn't we do all these things? We build hospitals, you know, orphanages, and we looked after, after the aborigines, and we looked after the Maoris, uh -huh, and we looked after the Indians. Oh, yes, yes, all these things we did. Huh? We educated all these fools, you know, we civilized them, we cultured them, yes, 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 we did all the things. So did we not prophesy in thy name and in thy name cast out devils and in thy name do many mighty works? What does Jesus say to that? He said, I never knew you. He said, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. You are evil doers, you are evil mongers. Amazing. You who are working in the name of Christ, looking after the lepers, looking after orphans, Mother Teresa, wonderful work she's doing. By God, I tell you. You know, I, I bow my head down out of respect for her. All the wonderful things you people are doing. The way you look after the animals. You know, animal conservation to preserve life. Ooh, fantastic things you are doing. But for human beings as well. What what you are doing? And that's what you're going to say to Jesus. I'm asking the Christians. Answer. You know why? You know why? Because you call him Lord. He is not your Lord. He is not your God. That's the reason. That is the reason. He's telling you, come, come, come. I'll teach you how to pray and pray like this. And he puts the words in your mouth. Like a little baby, like a little child. Pray like this. Oh, our Father, which art in heaven. Our Father, which art in heaven. Including Judas. Because Judas was in the group. He's the father of everybody. The sinner and the saint. He's the creator, Lord, cherisher, sustainer. Call him father, okay. Oh, our father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Where did he say the father of Jesus Christ in heaven? Oh, Jesus Christ, my Lord in heaven. Where? He said, this is how you pray. But you have forgotten that. You're worshipping him instead of worshipping the father. 
Uh, did you say, the lady, the lady, did you say you got the Quran? You have a Quran? Yes, my brother, this will be the last question. Thank you. Dada Ji, I am very passionate about I respect you. Uh, I wanna, I'm not here to battle with you or fight with you. I want to break it. Thank you. Um, I know you have understood me. I've spoken in Hindi and Urdu. Um, the only thing I want to ask you, one small question. Firstly, I'll say Sharaab, Pita, Magar, Suhar, Rekha, my Hindu. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, you said uh, uh, that Christ uh, died, uh, lived uh, for one and a half days. According to what I read in the Bible during my school days, was uh, he rose on, was it, on the third day. Did he say three days or third day? He rose on the third day uh, uh, and, uh, and ascended into heaven. Uh, but according to your country, I'm British born, but I'm not Indian, born Indian. According to uh, your country uh, of origin, uh, the people claim there that Christ lived there with them after uh, rising uh, for 15 years or something and built St. Thomas Church uh, or enhanced that, I don't know. Um, what have you, what sort of comments do you have, Daladi? No, you see. The Christian is not making an issue out of that. That Jesus went to India and he started the St. Thomas's church. St. Thomas did the St. Thomas church. Why would Jesus go and create a St. Thomas church? He was he created a St. Jesus church. It doesn't make sense. You see? But now, be as it may, be as it may, our idea is that look, nobody dies for your sins. Nobody carries your burden for you. You, according to the law of karma, what you do, you pay for. If you have done well, you earn a reward. If you have done evil, you pay the punishment. That is also Islam. You see, that we have to pay for our own sins. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. The one that sins will perish. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father. The Bible says, son means father Adam. We, the son, we will not pay for what Adam did. Poor Adam, he made a mistake and he paid the full price. He paid the full price. We, his children, will not be questioned. He said, your father Adam, you know what he did? So he bought punishes us for that. He said, no, he won't do that. Neither the son, son bear the iniquity of the father. Ni the father shall not bear the iniquity of the son. Neither shall the son bear the iniquity of the father. God Almighty will not ask Adam. He said, look at your children. 25 million sodomites. You call them gays, gays in America. God will not ask Adam. And he will not ask us what Adam and Eve did. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. That is the law of God. But if the wicked will turn from all the sins that he has committed, means he asks for forgiveness and repents, and do that which is lawful and right, he shall surely live, he shall not die. That is Islam. That is Islam. You pay for your sins, I pay for mine. Nobody, nobody pays for anybody's sins. But the Christian believes that he must, somebody must pay for his sins. So he wants to pass the buck on to Jesus. You know, make things easy for himself. He can do what he likes, but Christ paid for it. You know, and J Jimmy Swaggart, he said, the greater the sin, the greater the redemption. If you, what kind of redemption is this? Jesus Christ, I stole somebody's pin, his pin. And Jesus pays for that. For my parking ticket, he pays for that. What has he done? Huh? But for Hitler's sins, on account of him, 40 million people died in the Second World War. If Jesus pays for that, that is something. If he pays for Peter Sutcliffe, he raped and ripped 13 women, and Jesus pays for that, that will be something. Get the idea? The greater the sin, the greater the redemption. What philosophy is this? Wow, what an amazing message. Believe me, this is really 
very educative wow and you know we christians we believe that jesus you know died on the cross and rose on the third day rose on the third day and he ascended into into heaven wow but from what Amadida is saying in this video that jesus did not die god did not allow jesus to you know die on the cross because of the shame and he ascended into heaven we christians also believe that jesus ascended into heaven quite all right Bye. but from our own belief we believe that he died and he rose the third day he died even when he died his body did not decay he rose again because when he when he rose from the from the from the grave and he visited the disciple he made them to understand that he wasn't a ghost and he also led them to touch his flesh to just for them to be sure that it's not a ghost and after that he ascended into heaven and this is what we have been taught in the bible this is what we have been taught in the bible and from what amedi that is saying that it wasn't so that jesus never died on the cross but he ascended into heaven and we all believe that he ascended into heaven but what i did not understand is that from our own belief from what we have been taught from what the bible says jesus died on the cross and rose on the third day so is this saying the bible is wrong or is this saying what we have been taught from the bible is false so i really believe we have to do more research on this to really get the point he's trying to say okay so uh, i think this is where i would love to come in you see in let me let me use uh, ethnic groups or as example you see okay. with every ethnic group has its quarter the mm. way they they live their lives yeah they have their tradition they have the way they do their things and every ethnic group has like different languages so when we we come to the the i mean the, um, the religious aspect the same thing as we have every, each and every religion Religio. has his their or belief. their own belief so uh one thing that i liked about um the the, the man which is ahmed did that one thing i liked about him was anytime he makes uh something countering what the, the christians are saying or what the bible says he says according to the islam or according to quran yeah you understand so that is the point that i think i agree with it. i agree with him so that is their belief yeah but we christians also think that jesus died uh, he came to the world he died and he rose on the third day he ascended into heaven yeah but to them which is the quran and From their what? belief which he always made mention of that i think i don't have a problem with that that according to them jesus didn't die he didn't mm -hmm. go through all the shame by like uh, they putting away his clothes being on the cross he didn't go through that but rather he was ascended directly okay so i think that is what i want to say concerning that particular yeah. point yes. that's that's their own belief that's their own belief so, and then we have to respect them for so that i believe even for me myself i believe we really have to do more research yes. on this mm. to get better understanding on what actually really happened mm you get yeah because if this if we are claiming that if this is claiming that this is this this is claiming that this is that are we going to really know what actually really happened so that's why we have to really do more research on this particular topic then i think the second question was the indian man that said he's a british born mm -hmm. uh, let's not talk about that i think he made he said after god after jesus died died or jesus did not die that he went to india and live for and create, years yeah mm -hmm. and create saint yeah. thomas church yeah. <laughs> i believe anyway from that that's not even a topic to mm -hmm. argue about we know under reasonability jesus cannot go to india yeah, and create saint thomas church yeah. just like he has said instead he would have created saint jesus church <laughs> so and he also made mention made reference to the book of ezekiel saying men 
all prophets are going on that day when Jesus will come. That many prophets will that's, you, that's mighty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Many prophets will you know try to you know meet talk to Jesus mm -hmm. that they they cast out demon in, in his, his name. name. They do this. They do this. They do that. And Jesus will say, "Get behind me, all you workers of iniquity." I, I don't know you. Yes. I don't know you. That's what we. That's what the Bible says. And I may do that elaborate on it that if actually they did the work of God, they, they, did, they did all those things in Jesus' name, mm. that Jesus not telling them that get behind me, so so that that means they were doing all those names, they were doing all those things by calling Jesus Lord. Mm. You get, I think from what I understand, I say they were doing all those things, you know. We Christians we believe that we believe in the holy we believe in the holy trinity. And from what I'm doing that is saying that our mistake is that we were calling that the prophet mistake is that they were calling Jesus Lord. Mm. And Jesus is not Lord. Mm. You get Jesus is not Lord. So that's the mistake they made. That's why Jesus asked them to get behind me or he walk us of iniquity. I get his point. It's very, it's very reasonable from what he said that all those from God from all that Bible, from that Bible verse. Those people claiming that they actually did this, they did that, they do that, they do that in Jesus' name, that Jesus rebuked them. I think it's a good reason he gave that they were calling Jesus Lord. But that I don't think that reason is enough to really justify what really happened. Because that Bible verse, if you elaborate on it, did not even give, did not actually give the reason why Jesus rebuked them. Mm. Jesus did not say Jesus rebuked them because they were calling him Lord. Mm. That's a that judgment that they were calling Jesus Lord or so, so that's why Jesus rebuked them. There could be other, there could be thousands of reasons mm. why Jesus actually rebuked them. Yeah, so you don't have to come and, you know, bring your own concept that Jesus actually rebuked them because of this, because of that. The Bible does not say that. So I don't think that should be enough to justify the reason why Jesus rebuked the prophet. Okay. So let me add a little to whatever you said. Uh, I think whatever you said makes exactly sense uh, but what i want to add is you see in the bible okay. we don't have only one jesus in it okay yeah so you understand what do you know we have baal jesus in the bible okay baal jesus okay when um, uh, elijah called fire uh, i mean yeah fire to come destroy whatever that was set up water okay. poured on it like according to the bible Okay. You understand? Do, the people around the area, they also called on their God, which is yeah. the smaller God, which is Baal Jesus. So you see, the prophet was making mention of uh, how people will call on the name of Jesus and at the end Jesus will say they don't know them, like making that. You see, now in particular, uh, when, when you look into most churches, even the Bible made mention of it that at the end of the world or when the world is coming to an end, there will be false prophets there will be fake people, like you understand. Yeah. So we, and there are a lot of people within within the system who are using the name Jesus, do, but they know the source of whatever they are doing. You it's understand? As Jesus. I sit here, I can't say, "Oh, I go to a certain um, uh, let me say, uh, 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 I'll go do some incantations. I go kill human beings for sacrifice, which we don't say anybody should do. You go do like those things. You acquire your power through." Dubious means. Dubious means. You understand? And now, because you want to please the people, you come to church or you come to the congregation and then you say, I do this in the name of Jesus. I do this in the name. Meanwhile, within you yourself, you know it is not the Jesus that you're mentioning. That is not your source. You understand? You have your own source that you alone, you know of. So with this, at the end of it, if Jesus tells you, I don't know you, what is wrong with that? Is there anything wrong with it? No, because know. that is not your source. You you didn't choose Jesus as your source of power, as your source of anything that you are doing. You have your source. You understand? So that is what I want to add. That even the days of Ezekiel, there was Jesus, which is Baal Jesus. And that was not the Jesus that we know. So if people are mentioning the name of Jesus, Jesus, and then Jesus will say he doesn't know them. Meaning they are not calling on the right name, which is Jesus. Yeah. So yeah. as you said, we, we have to make research, learn so many things, and get the proper understanding of whatever yeah. is being discussed here. Yeah. 
yeah that's that's what i said from what my brothers my guests have said i believe that's also a good reason so i believe with all with what i'm a D that i've said in this video and with what we also understand from the bible i believe there is the need for us to do more research to understand better so we can be able to you know make better decision on this yes and i think if uh, the, the, the the subscribers or the followers are also watching whatever understanding you have concerning this video or whatever idea or research that you've made that you think we all need to know and then learn about you can write it in the comment section yeah 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 and don't forget click on the subscribe button click on the like button do have a nice day love you bye, bye.